I'm Thomas Jefferson, let's go. Can't decide to buy Louisiana. It's not in the Constitution, so I don't know what to do. I'm under the public eye holler, but what they do not realize is that the offer is a bargain. I'd be stupid not to take it for 15 million. I sparked the idea of manifest destiny. In, in the United States, Texas declared independence, but then the U.S. annexed them by passing it through Congress in 1845. John Tyler, new Polk was taking office, he left the heat of Mexico, but we all know Polk was very capable of handling political issues. He closed the deal e easily. Lumbermen got angry about the border agreement between Canada and Maine, and so they started a war. Then Daniel Webster and Lord Ashburton wrote a treaty that settled the border dispute. 5440 or fight on the Oregon border, said the American people. But Britain would not give it to them But then Polk came along um, Refused to fight And took the 49th parallel As the border 1844 there were four candidates But one stood out more than the rest Dark Horse James Polk took office and he had plans for America. He, he re-established independent treasury system. He reduced tariffs and acquired Oregon as well as California and New Mexico. Texas annexation led to diplomatic trouble with Mexico. <laughs> Polk dispatched John Slidell as a persuasive guide to get the Mexico-Texas border. Zachary Taylor moved his army to the Rio Grande to force Mexico to attack his friends in their land. It caused an actual war. Then we won. Saying we're weak, yeah, no we're not. Trying to get California as well as New Mexico. Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was negotiated by Nicholas Trist. It had two beneficial outcomes having to do with Mexico. First, Mexico recognized the Rio Grande as the southern border of Texas. Then the United States took possession of Mexico and it got coined as Mexican Session. Manifest Destiny down south was just a means of slavery expansion southerners didn't get their way they protested a lot wanted cuba to expand so that ain't free <laughs>